Guys, uh, just a really quick video to cover the installation of Ladybug, which we'll be working with this week, because I know we're going to get a lot of questions about this. So um, on Canvas, under the module Installing Ladybug, you'll go over here. Uh, I'll download this zip file and save it. And the instructions are actually on GitHub over here. And these are their, their kind of official um, instructions, OK? So of course, first, uh, what we can do is unzip this to uh, its own little folder. And what you'll find is that there are some sample files for a bunch of the different Ladybug plugins, related Ladybug tools, and a installer and an uninstaller Grasshopper file. Uninstaller is only used if you had a previous install um, of Ladybug and it just cleans it out before you install the newer version. Um, and so what I'm showing you here is actually a uh, my laptop, which doesn't have Ladybug installed in it either. So we'll kind of work through that, right? Um, this is the latest version as of today. So it's 1.5 um, and all you have to do uh, is to just drag and drop this installer into here. Right. And literally uh, in their instructions, they kind of go through this sort of step by step. So if you click here, Windows installation steps, basically you just follow this, um, these uh, instructions. So you'll start by toggling, double clicking this, toggling it um, from foster true. And your screen or this is going to kind of think or lag or freeze uh, a little bit while it's kind of running. And so just kind of let it run through. Da, da, da. And if it does that, just kind of minimize it and maximize it again. So, okay, it's got it, right? Um, and then over here, next steps, right? Set the second toggle to true. So we'll double click here. And same thing, like it's gonna kind of think or freeze or look like it's kind of thinking as well. So just let it do that. Of course, uh, you need to make sure you're connected to the internet while while you're doing this. And then we'll go down here, et cetera, et cetera. Now, uh, this step is only necessary if you're using Rhino 6, right? Um, and in this case, as with actually many uh, installations for plugins, you generally, the ladybug right now is sort of an exception, you generally want to uh, do it with Rhino closed, or even after installing, you'll have to close Rhino and Grasshopper and open it up back again for changes to take effect, right? Now, uh, for us, um, there are actually several option steps uh, that are related to the other Ladybug Tools plugins like Dragonfly or Open Studio, Open Foam, things like that. We're not dealing with that. We're only dealing with Radiance here. So we are going, we are going to have to do this step. Okay. Now this popped up. Successfully installed. Restart Rhino to load the new components plus library. Say okay. And it should give you some kind of readout that looks like that. Okay. So I'll just close my Rhino. Right, and then start it up again. And let's see, let's check first that the ladybug components load in properly. So grasshopper. And you'll see ladybug up here lunch, uh, honeybee, dragonfly, these are all basically the uh, ladybug tools kind of related uh, things. Uh, but for the most part, we're working with ladybug here. Okay, now the second step here is, or optional step is to install Radiance. And we need this to be able to run daylight and solar um, simulations, okay? So first, um, there is this uh, compatibility matrix you can check. This is for, well, actually it should be for 1.5, um, but let's see. Oh, here. Um, so our version right now, 1.5, these are all the same actually. So 
for Radiance, this is the version we need, right? Um, so you click here on this link, which will bring you to the Radiance GitHub uh, kind of page, right? Radiance for 5.4a, uh, commit 21, uh, March 28th, right? This is the version it's compatible with. And then you go down here, right? And you can kind of see, I personally haven't installed any of these on the Mac side ever, so I'm not sure about that. But for us, we're looking for this windows.exe file, which you download and run. Um, just to be on the safe side with this as well, uh, I am going to close out Rhino as I do this and run this Radiance setup. Let's go next, agree. Um, add Radiance to system path for all users. Um, and this specifically, the destination folder, um, they actually do mention this here, if I go back here. So um, when you run it, uh, when you get to choose install location, they recommend installing it to your C users, right? Username, ladybug tools folder, right? So let me look for that for C uh, users, run your name. Oh, here. So C users, Li Su Huang, Ladybug Tools. Okay, this is where they basically uh, suggest you install it. So I'll browse to this PC, C users, your name or whatever your username is. Ladybug Tools, say OK. Next, uh, install. Finish. Okay, so that should be it. We can run this again. Okay, um, the other steps aren't really necessary unless you're gonna use Honeybee and some of the other ladybug simulation tools. Um, so you can kind of look at that if you need to. Uh, that pretty much um, is it. Uh, you know, one of the things to kind of try is just to say, you know, see if um, any of the kind of ladybug, uh, let's say components, um, if you can plop them in correctly and they come in correctly, then generally you're, you should be okay. Um, until we get to some of the calculation stuff and you know some of this stuff where you actually have to run some of the simulations and actually use the Radiance engine for it. Okay, that's uh, that's it.